happen. Here with reaction, former Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi, along with Florida Congressman Byron uh, Donalds, as well as Byron. You know, Kamala Harris, she praised the LAPD when they started cutting and defunding that department. They cut a billion dollars from the police in New York City. How's this defund, dismantle, and no bail law uh, madness working out for the country? It's been an absolute disaster for our country, because if you can't keep criminals off the street, you're not going to have safe streets. This isn't really hard. This is simple stuff. But they have, or have an agenda. Their agenda is very simple. It's to ignore the law in order to support their own interests. But these cities are left safe. Kids can't go to school. People can't go to work without having to look over their shoulder. You can't have a thriving economy. You can't have a thriving society if you're not keeping people safe. The Democrats are wrong on this. They've been wrong on this. The polling has shown they're wrong on this and it has to stop and it starts with these liberal DAs who do not want to prosecute people that the police actually arrest. Yeah, Pam, I, I look at this then I look at Kamala Harris. She supports a bail fund after they burn a precinct to the ground. She says they're not going to stop in the summer of 2020. They shouldn't stop. They're not going to stop. We're not going to stop. You better take note and beware. They're not stopping. Okay. And then she praises the LAPD you know, defunding part of the police there. Uh, is there a, a causal effect of a relationship here? Effect? Well, of course, you're, you're not going to see any police officers supporting Kamala Harris nor Joe Biden. And she used to be an attorney general, which is actually very sad in the state of California that that would happen. You know, of all days, Sean, Martin Luther King abhorred the type of violence that we're seeing in these metropolitan cities. What's the common denominator? They're all Democrat-run cities. Oregon, the ones in California, New York. It's not happening in the state where Byron and I live, is it? Florida is a safe state because we respect our men and women in blue. We respect law enforcement. We want to see them on the streets to keep us safe. And that's not what's happening in these liberal cities. At least in New York now, you have a mayor, he's saying that he is pro-law enforcement still and that he's going to add men and women of law enforcement to help protect New Yorkers. But, you know, he says it's perception. It is perception because you need to put many, many more men and women of law enforcement in the subways, on the streets in New York, to do everything he can. And I think the problem he's going to have is Alvin Bragg, that district attorney in New York, who's a Soros-funded, liberal, woke district attorney, who's letting people out of jail left and right and not protecting New Yorkers. Byron, we'll give you the last word. Look, I think that Pam is exactly right. And I think it's a bigger thing than that. Look, you have these Democrats running around today talking about voting rights. But if you violated federal election law, you can file a federal cause of action and win. But they're, they're talking about voting rights. Meanwhile, they won't even keep cities safe. It's outrageous. And it's bad for all of our people who live in these cities, not just Democrats or Republicans. Well, I appreciate you both being with us. You know, this this young woman, she's doing everything right. She's working. She's going to That's grad right. school. She has a dream. She wants to be a designer. Uh, and people celebrate defunding the police and it's not working. And they don't say, you know what, maybe we maybe that's a bad idea. Thank you both.